Right, this is my custom bike packing bike. As you can see, it's got an Alfine 8 speed hub on it with Mavic rims on the front. It has a Shimano Alfine hub which is running up to some dynamo lights. First day back on a bike, 40 to 50 mile an hour wind. Real gusty out. I'm now off to uh, Southwold from Halesworth. Behind me is the Queen Head Inn, a little uh, public house, a pub here in the UK. We're just going over to the Suffolk coast at Southwold. There's lots to see and uh, hopefully I don't get blown off my bike. But there's loads of fields and farmland and even some outbuildings that the farmers own that have been flooded and lots of interesting and disastrous things happened in the last few nights with all the winds so uh, let's get on and have a look what we see right that's a bit dodgy lots of flood water today luckily none on, along the road so this is only a little stream only a little like a large dike type thing when it's not flooded when it's its usual summer habitat for fish and uh, i am actually yet to fish here but yeah this is all i come to see today there's lots of flooded farmland and buildings so uh, Let's crack on. I've just been cycling along these gravel tracks for about half an hour, 25 minutes, 30 minutes, something like that. Head on wind, absolutely full on head on wind. I don't even know if you can hear me. Oh, it's beautiful here in Suffolk. You must come and visit here one day if, uh, if you haven't been here. And if you have been here, then you'll always want to come back. Just one of them places that's always lovely to cycle through. Plus there's no hills, well there's no hills. Not compared to Cumbria or Scotland or anywhere. Anyway, back on the road. Nice little church we're in now. Not quite sure where we are. But uh, yeah, just having a little rest. And a little water break. There's my... Uh, new bike over there i say new it's a custom made bike for bike packing i've never actually shown it to every anyone before not on youtube anyway so lovely nice building right this is my custom bike packing bike as you can see it's got an alfine 8 speed hub on it with mavic rims on the front it has a shimano alfine hub which is running up to some dynamo lights and that little panel on the side there that's the USB port sorry for my dodgy zooming in but there's a nice brick saddle on it I like these brick saddles but they are a, are a bit of a bum acre after a while yeah it's got Victoria Rudonier Randonier Pro ties on it very nice the forks are Kinesis CX discs cyclocross discs this does have disc brakes, it's my first bike with disc brakes and I'm severely unimpressed with them. Just probably because this bike's been sitting around about, I don't know, seven, eight, maybe even nine months now, getting on for a year anyway. I like these elite bottle cages, they're quite nice. Ignore this, this is for a child seat, I will be taking it off. It's got a nice little backlight there, you can see it's still on a little bit. It does fade out once the regenerative power goes out but if you're stopping at traffic lights and that sort of thing that's brilliant as it stays on I've got my camera here mounted on and yes these screws here do actually hit your legs sometimes we'll be getting another or making rather a nice little clamp for that that will sit around snugly maybe out of a, a sleeve you know one of these brackets for your seat post seat post clamp that's the one I might make a little GoPro mount out of one of them it will fit a lot better than that but yeah the main frame of this is an on one popentium, yeah, pompentamine, pompen, <laughs> no way, pompetamine, pompetamine frame. It's an on one popentamine frame, yeah, it's a nice little frame. FSA headset, FSA cranks, it's actually got a thorn front crank set on this, um, um, front cog on this. These are actually reversible, so you can just swap them around if it gets worn shark tooth too much one side as you can probably see the chain is a bit brown I really need to change that chain to be fair but it looks it's only been sitting around for a couple of months since last serviced it but yeah it's um I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with this bike yet as you can see it's got 
trigger shifters. I love the Alphine system where you can just stop wherever you would like. Well, before my bike falls over, you can just stop wherever you like and change it on the Alphines and you can change gear no problem, just a little like quarter of a turn back pedal or something just to make sure the clutch is engaged properly, uh, disengaged properly. Everything is DDA or FSA on this. As I say, Kinesis front forks, all right done. Uh, on the Alphine it's very handy having these ones up the top here for the flat bars because then you put a big roll mat or something inside without worrying about your quick shifting with the paddle shifters if you have Shimano or SRAM uh, red or something you can't really sometimes change gear properly uh, down the gear when you click it all the way in so these are really handy for getting a nice full bag all the way across it and you can see these lights are here just for now don't really need them but the nice flashing lights for when I'm out on the road in the daytime or in the evening around towns and cities but yeah that's my on one popentium and uh, yeah, thanks everyone for watching today. Uh, till next time, stay safe and uh, hope the wind don't blow you over. Peace.